welcome everyone to our daily analysis call in preparation for May 31st, 2017. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started. This is for education purposes only. If you have questions about your individual investment needs, I recommend you talk to your investment advisor. All right, so let's start off by taking a look at our calendar here. So today, um, the important news that we saw, first of all, we saw some negative numbers out of the Eurozone here. And then in our, um, in the New York session, we saw the consumer confidence number. It did not um, come quite as expected. It was, it kind of missed the uh, mark there. And then um, in the in the Asian session today, we have Chinese numbers. So Chinese numbers will have an impact on um, Aussie and um, and New Zealand because those uh, those two countries are big trade partners with China. PMI numbers are leading indicators, so they are important, even though they're not marked as red, but they are important numbers. So we'll have to keep an eye on those. And in terms of Wednesday here, um, this is where we have, um, what do we have? GDP for Canada. We have FOMC member Kaplan speaking. And then we have CPI and core CPI numbers for Euro here. So I think Thursday is the important one where we have tons of PMI numbers. So kind of going into Thursday and Friday, the we have non-farm payroll on Friday. So the towards the end of the week, it'll be more important in terms of data here. Chicago PMI number, again, uh, leading indicator. So we need to pay attention to that. Um, Canadian dollar will be impacted by the GDP number that comes out. Retail sales number, again, important for Australia. So those are the few numbers to keep in mind. And now let's move on to our, oh, I don't seem to have my, seem to have lost my platform here somehow. I think I was tinkering around with stuff. Okay, we'll move on to the charts and see what we have. It was an interesting drop. Actually, just a comment on the pound US dollar hit there. Um, so I was looking, I was actually looking for a pound to move back into 2800, but it was getting um, getting stuck there. So I pulled the trade out. It just made about 30, 32 pips in the trade. Um, not a big one, but we did see a big drop in the British pound, um, or at least to 2800. So the Thing there with uh, just a note around British pound, we are going into election time. So pound um, will be more volatile going into election. So earlier um, in the uh, in the New York session, we did see there was a poll that came out. Uh, after the poll results, we saw British pound kind of pushed up. Um, and that was because there was a sudden move to the upside. So polls are going to create a lot of volatility in the market. So we had the same scenario going into the Brexit vote, where every time there was a poll that came out, it moved the market. And then we had that going into the US elections as well. We had um, that going into French elections. So keep that in mind as we are trading British pound. Just remember going into June, British pound is going to become more volatile and it will get um, moved around based on what kind of poll results come out. So just just to kind of uh, put that out there. All right. So let's take a look at our um, at our charts here. So the British pound, sorry, Euro US dollar daily chart. So this one shows a big rejection to the downside, but I. Um, I still think this could come down. Um, we could see this drop back into this level 1100, but 1100, I, um, uh, I see this as important support and resistance area. So we could see the price come back and test here, or we can see price come back and test into the 1120 area. So this one here, um, based on the candle close here, this looks bullish, but this is our boundary to the upside. So this is our, um, it's become range bound now. So this is our range previously here from back in October, 2016. So we have essentially given back all the gains after the US elections, they have all gone back. We are back into those levels that we were in 
uh, prior to the election here. And now we are into this range that the price had traded in. So this, uh, in my opinion, is range bound at the moment. So I do think we could see price come back into this 1100 level. And then we may see a rejection and a move higher. So based on the candle close, this does look bullish. So keep that in mind. So we would say neutral to bullish. So we could see price either come back into 1100. So 1100 level would be a good one to uh, basically for a potential long. And this one actually 1136. So 1136 level, this right here, this one could be an important level here as well. So between the two is where we are looking for a potential opportunities for this to push back up. And especially if the British pound starts to drop, we could see um, more buyers sort of going into the euro. So the euro pound um, can weaken as, sorry, can strengthen as a result of pound dropping. So keep, do keep an eye on euro pound as well. So if you see pound is dropping, um, just throughout this election period, we could see uh, buyers going into the euro. So looking at our one hour chart here, this is where we are, we see the price uh, has gone up to between 1200 to 1100. So this is the range here. Um, we earlier, we saw a nice a one hour bearish pin bar and now the price is moving lower. So this one here, I'm not hugely bearish. I'm actually bullish to neutral on this one. So we'll have to see what the price does. So two options here, one, it could come all the way down here or the second option would be that the price just just comes back into, um, okay, we can't see that on one hour chart, but we'll see that the price pulls back and then go pushes up again. Third option, there is a third option, is actually a very shallow pullback. See this support and resistance level here, this is good too. So we could get uh, a move that looks kind of like this. So keep that in mind. And then in that case, we are likely to see one of these moves going all the way up. So that, um, that is something to be um, kept in mind here because this is an important support and resistance area for sure, 1150 to 60 area. If the price stays above this and it, it's also our pivot level. So if the price stays above this, we could see that push to the upside. Daily close is bullish to neutral here. Okay, moving on to pound here. Pound, we saw price um, kind of play around. And then finally this big drop came in, um, oh sorry, this uh, big drop came into the Asian session and now we are pushing lower. So this was a very neutral close for the day. So based on the daily close, we are neutral on this. Um, if the polls keep coming out negative, we could see price um, come down. So at this point, I'm looking for price to come down into 127.60 area to go test, to test this level once again. And that will be the key level. If the price, so we have to wait for price to actually show us um, the hand before we can do something. If the price breaks down here, we could see an opportunity to short there if that happens. But like I mentioned before, pound could be vol volatile going into the election. So keep that in mind. So if you take a look at our shorter time frame, that was the big, uh, that was the big drop. Oops, that was the big drop later in the day and then a move back up and then we saw um, this is where price is. So it's, it looks like it wants to come lower. This is our level that we are watching. Um, and this is where we could see price find some support. So there could be buyers come, coming into, um, into that level. If we see the price breaks below that level, so we have to look for a clean break and not get ahead of this because this level has not been broken since April, ever since we saw uh, the COT positions, the big players, they kind of turned around their positions and started buying pounds since uh, elections were announced actually. Since then, um, we have seen that the price hasn't, uh, hasn't come down from there. So this would be a serious level that we are watching. So it, it won't come down that easily. If it does, we wait for a drop through this level 
and then we are looking for a back test and that could be a good level to sell. We could see this test a little bit higher as well. So we could see price just test this level. See this bottom level here, which is 127.75 level. And then it could drop from there. So I would be careful trading pound as we go into the elections. Okay, dollar CAD here. Dollar CAD, we are... So based on this close here, that looks like a rejection of this level. So based on this, even though it is a, a green candle close, this looks bearish. So in this case, we could see a push to the upside and then a drop. So in terms of where to look for that move to the upside, one so 1.3500, that level could provide an opportunity to sell if it goes up there. Um, and the level, the target we're looking for is 133.80. So based on the daily close here, we are looking for price to move uh, lower here back into this 133.80 level. Uh, this is a big rejection, so that looks bearish to me, but it is within a range. So we're just looking for price to move down towards the bottom of the range. And before it does that, we could see the price go all the way up there into 135.00, or this is an, a good level here as well, a 134.80 level. So price could move up here higher and then drop. Okay, Aussie dollar here, we see a big solid green candle. So that's quite bullish. Um, and one of the trades we could probably look at is Euro Aussie. We'll take a look at that in just a bit. So Australian dollar closed very strong, especially if um, Canadian dollar keeps on dropping, dollar CAD keeps on dropping, Aussie dollar, we're looking for moving the opposite direction here, but this is a good bullish engulfing candle. So based on the close here, we're looking for another move to the upside. Target here would be 75.20 level. Um, this is the top of the range, essentially, looking for price to move up higher. So here's our four hour. So we could see a pullback lower and then a move to the upside. So let's get closer to the price here. So right now it is holding the level, uh, but we could see a pullback into this pivot point level at 7450-ish area um, and then a move higher. But it looks like it's, it's a very shallow pullback here, wants to move up higher. Daily close though, um, very bullish on um, Aussie dollar. New Zealand dollar here, we did get a very bullish close and price has, this is where, so, okay, this is, um, this is what we are currently seeing in dollar cat right here. This kind of a move, slightly different here, slightly, very slightly, because there is no uh, pin in the bottom except just the pin on the top. So bear that in mind. Sometimes these ones, the rejections kind of get filled again. So we get uh, a bullish move, very decisive move to the upside. So watch for that in dollar CAD because just because we do the analysis doesn't mean it's written in stone. It could change. So in this case, it's an engulfing candle. It's closed above the previous highs here, which makes it quite bullish. So in this case, we could see, actually, let me, um, two things or one thing to keep in mind, the PMI numbers out of China, because that could have an impact on this. New Zealand dollar has been a very, very bullish today. So in terms of our pullback, we could see a pullback um, into this level, 7050 level. So this could be a potential level for a long entry, this previous support and resistance level. And uh, then we would be looking for a move to the upside. Here's our one hour. It is kind of going sideways a little bit though. So we could see basically a pullback and then a move up. So 7050 here or into this level here, 70, 73 level, 0, 70, 73 level, which is these, this pin. So see these pins right here? So this is a good level here as well. So we could see a pullback into 70, 73, and then a move to the upside or a pullback to into the bottom of this candle. So 70, 50 level, and then a move to the upside. So those will be two targets for a pullback and a further move to the upside. 
British pound here, this is the move that we saw in the pound um, in the early Asian trading after the poll came out. So this, um, even though there's a rejection here, the momentum is to the downside in this. And we are into support level right here. Um, next one is the target will be 140.42, bottom of this candle. Uh, once it breaks the low here, we could see uh, or we could look for the price to move lower. In between though, we are right into this support at the moment, this one right here. That's where the price is getting stuck at 142. So we would need to see a break of 142 um, and the downside target. We have this candle um, completely open now and we could see the price come down lower. So here we are on a four hour. As we can see, price is um, has been making lower lows and lower highs so now it has held below our this level here so this previous support and resistance we could even move a little bit higher so it's held below this if it keeps holding below this we are looking basically into this 140 40 level uh, but again just like pound dollar i would be careful trading dollar yen if you think pound dollar is volatile pound yen is completely volatile so keep that in mind Dollar yen, bearish close for the day and next level we are targeting would be 110.20 level, this one right here. So this will be an important level for dollar yen because um, this is where we rejected previously. So we have done the, the push up and now we're looking for move back into this level. So this is the key level. If this level holds, um, if this level holds, yeah. If if this level holds here, then we could see a rejection again, just like this one. So we could see a double bottom, and then move to the upside. So the type of move, let me just draw it out here. We could see one of these. See, look for so look for double bottom. See how much trouble this um, level gave the last time till it bro broke. So this would be one scenario, and the second one would be that it something similar to this. So it pushes up and then makes a lower high and then drops through this level. So that's um, something to watch out for. But at first, we are looking for this to be the target, 110.20 to be the target to the downside. And then we'll see how that level plays out. So here we are, it's holding and that looks good. So this is, uh, this is open now. So we could see a bit of a push up and then another drop. Looking a little bit closer here, we could see a uh, push into the pivot level here. And then we are looking for a drop to the downside. But overall, based on the daily close here, this looks like it could move lower. But the candle isn't huge. So that's something to keep in mind. So we could see a move right into 110, 20 level. Euro yen here. Euro yen has made an interesting, um, th this looks very, well, this doesn't look bearish, um, that bearish. This looks uh, more like it's rejecting this level here. It did have a nice move to the downside, but then it pushed back up again. So that makes me think that there are buyers up there. So now we're just looking for a move to the downside and a rejection of this level if it does come that low, or we could just be looking into one of these higher levels right here, this one. So we could see a pullback into this 123.40 level and then a push to the upside. But um, the close here, even though we did close with the red candle, the big pin in the bottom does not make this, um, it makes it less bearish than I would have liked to see here. So this is where we are. So we could see a pullback into 123.40 or even into this level here, this 123.50 level, and then another move to the upside. So this one kind of like that. So we could see that type of moves. In that case, the uh, target would be 124.30 to the upside right there. Or uh, slightly higher right into that level, which is a 124.60 level.
or even 50 right into here. So 124.50 level back up. So looking for a push down into 123.50 and then that will be the decision point. If it holds, then we're looking for another move back into 124.50 level. Oh, ugly chart. Um, Euro Aussie, here we go. Euro Aussie, here we are. Um, the close here was, oh, okay, updated. Okay, so the close here was um, not as strong. We did see the price drop. So this would be impacted by our, um, our PMI numbers out of, um, out of China. If the PMI numbers come out uh, good, in that case, we could see this one drop. So right now, it is being held by a 149.38 level, and we need to see a clean break of this level. If we can get a clean break of this level, then we could see the price do one of these. This will be the move we'd be looking for. Then this candle becomes available to us. But for many days now, it has traded in this range and it hasn't broken below. So we'll have to see pound, uh, sorry, we saw Aussie closed very bullish. So if that bullishness stays in Aussie, we could see this one drop. Uh, with Euro, from fundamentals perspective, we have something else that's coming into play, which is the, the Greek debt. And um, there is a concern around Greece missing their payment. If they miss their payment, that would be that would not be good. Um, however, we have seen Greece um, back in a couple of years ago when they were uh, there was this whole Greece debt situation was uh, really in the forefront and there was a whole concern about Eurozone breaking up over that, but they did not, um, of course, they did not let things get that bad. Greece did make, did miss uh, payment, loan payment, and that did not have as negative an impact as everybody thought that it would um, because they got bailed out. So this time there is a concern about them missing a debt payment and they haven't in, in a while. So since that uh, debt crisis uh, a couple of years ago. So now um, I don't think it will have as much of a negative impact on the markets, but it will, um, it will have a negative impact overall. So keep that in mind. If that happens, if there those concerns kind of come to the forefront, we could see this one drop. So keep that in mind, especially if Australian dollar um, keeps up. So the, the bullishness in Australian dollar, if that stays, we could see um, Euro Aussie drop, especially if the debt concerns kind of come into the forefront. So something to keep in mind. So that's up here that, uh, so in this one, we're looking for 124, 1.4938, the bottom of the range here, or even slightly lower into the probably the 20 level. Yeah. So that will be, that's the move we are looking for. But that 149.20 level has proved to be very strong level. And we'll need to see a clear break of that. Any questions or anything to add? Um, all right, so I don't uh, see anything. So the important, um, so this one looks good. This one's a good, nice uh, bullish close for the day. So keep an eye on the PMI numbers. If this come up positive, we could see this uh, move to the upside. And uh, pound, we're looking for a 127.80 level here. That's, um, so those are the two things that are quite clear here. Um, and this is a very bullish close as well. So the commodity currencies uh, look strong at the moment. Okay, so if there are no other questions, we'll call it a wrap. And I will see you guys in the trade room tomorrow.